I'm looking at you and I see a mere mortal right now. Huh? In six days, <laughs> five days. Who knows what's going to Come happen. on, I know, look. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that to your face, because I know I've been around Marshall and Dion. Well, Dion was, he was pissed that he had to be taken off of the field where he was coaching right. kids to he go downtown. He was not happy about, be, about ha that? that he had to show up to accept his <laughs> Pro Football Hall of Fame enshrinement because he was coaching youth football. Yeah. He did not want to be taken well, off that field. Well, that's his passion. He was, he was upset <laughs> about being named to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Well, I won't be upset. Kids. I know that. <laughs> but I know Marshall was just, he was, and he was his first ballot, his first ballot you can get. Yeah. He was nervous as a cat, too. How, yeah. how, how are you? Well, I'm nervous right as now? well. Um, you know, because you, you never know for sure. I mean, you know, people speculate, obviously. But, man, it's the Hall of Fame, right? I mean, geez, I can't imagine that feeling of getting a, the knock at the door, as, as a lot of people have said. Yes. But also, the main reason is our colleague Terrell Davis is also a finalist. Kurt, too. You know, Kurt as well. But Terrell is a running back. We're both running backs. Mm -hmm. um, I doubt if they will nominate or, or enshrine two running backs in the, in the same class. That'd be, um, I, I think they should not even look at that sort of metric. It's If you deserve it, you should go in. And if it's three running backs, then... So be it. There's just an incredible number of people who are obviously deserving of it. Um, what would it mean for you to hear your name called in that regard here in the state of Texas? Oh, uh, wow. This is where it started, Rich. Um, growing up as a little kid, um, you know, high school for us, growing up playing football here, high school was our NFL. That's the way we looked at it. As you know, um, high school football in Texas is huge. It, right. it is uh, it's everything. The town totally shuts down on Friday nights, and everybody goes to the football games. So growing up, watching my older cousins, you know, um, older brothers playing football, it was I couldn't wait to get to high school because I felt like that was the NFL. If I was able to make a varsity team in Texas, then I had made it. That's the way I felt. Mm -hmm. um, you know, now to, to be retired and up for the Pro Football Hall of Fame, but to be able to possibly be um, nominated and, and go in back in my home state, I mean, it's, it's surreal because my family is here. They all get to see me go in and, you know, receive the news. If, if it happens, it's going to be a great feeling. How many are here? How many are going to be here? Uh, this weekend? I, I'm, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> we'll see. You got still people sure. who, are, who are still? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming at least, Give me 15, number, 15. at least 15, 20. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.